All right, guys, so welcome back for part three of so far a boring series of feeding and um, just kind of update videos, collection tour, uh, if you will, type thing. I'm just going through my entire collection and offering everyone food while at the same time videoing it and hope that I can get some good footage. Uh, haven't gotten a ton so far. We'll hope that that changes. Uh, this is my Monocentropus balfouri. Most of you will remember that I rehoused it um, probably a week and a half ago. It has made itself at home in that burrow, but it hasn't done a whole lot of webbing on the outside yet. Um, <clears throat> it is running hidden since I touched its enclosure, but it's always hanging around right at the entrance of the burrow with its front legs sticking out until, of course, you move the enclosure. So... I am just going to basically take a mealworm and put it down the burrow because I don't really uh, hold out hope for a good takedown. They are not <clears throat> very notorious for that. They are pretty secretive tarantulas, unfortunately. But this one was a freebie. This was not something that I picked out. As something that I wanted so you know but I still like it um, I'm still probably going to get rid of this one um, I had a friend months ago that was interested in it haven't heard much from him lately so I'm not sure but I still may get rid of this thing or trade it if it doesn't take this worm out here it comes here it comes guys There we go. Very nice takedown. Good way to start out the third part of this video. That was my M. Balfouri. As I said, I may or may not get rid of it. Um, I want to give it a little more time, but it wasn't one that I picked out. Let's move on to something else and see if we can get some more feeding going on. All right, so I decided to go back to scorpions. This next guy is one of two of my Arizona bark scorpions that I still have left. These guys have been good feeders for me, but for some reason that one doesn't want to eat. This one's kind of freaking out running around, but let's see if it will take a cricket for us. They have been good eaters for me here recently, but again, this is a new feeder for them. So they may not realize yet that it's prey. Sorry that this, again, another update was boring, but there we go. That is one of two of my Arizona bark scorpions that I have left. There is the other one. Despite what we saw in the video, they are feeding and doing well. Let's move on. All right, so staying with the scorpion theme, this is my Centroidus gracilis, a Florida bark scorpion. This one is generally a good eater for me. Let's see what it'll do with a cricket here. Of course it takes it down. That was a pretty good takedown there. Maybe the cricket will move and it will give us another sting. It's the one thing I like about scorpions is watching them do their takedowns when they work that tail trying to find the kill shot, the kill spot. They are just such fascinating animals. Even though they creep a lot of people out, worse than spiders do. I've always been fascinated by spiders and scorpions ever since I was little, so... There we go. That was my Florida Bark Scorpion taking down a cricket. I don't believe this is the first time for this scorpion to have a cricket because I've had this one for a while. I think it's had crickets before, but it's been a while. But this one almost always eats for me every time I offer it food. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to pause for a second and come back in just a minute. All right, so I just wanted to try to get some of the... Uh, jaw action of the scorpion it just started to munch on the cricket and of course as soon as I started to record it stopped but their little jaws are so interesting they've got these two 
pincher like jaws at the front of their face there between those two pinchers that they use to chew up and crush up their food. These guys are so fascinating to watch. Unfortunately, they're very inactive most of the time and usually in hiding. So feedings and waterings are about the only time you really get to see them. Unfortunately, this cricket's not doing, I mean the cricket, the scorpion's not doing the munching that I wanted it to do here. So I think we're just going to go ahead and move on to another scorpion. And maybe it'll give us a takedown and maybe it won't. Alright, so this next one I have not gotten to feed on camera in a long time. This is my Centroidus guanensis, my Cuban bark scorpion. She uh, generally rejects food, but was obviously hungry there. And we have an awesome sting and takedown. This girl here does like a lot of my scorpions. She starts to move away from the prey, away from the light, and so you don't get to see a whole lot of them. But she hasn't eaten in a while, so she was pretty hungry. Um, I didn't expect her to grab the roast that quickly. I didn't even know, or the cricket, I mean. I didn't even know that if she would. But those little jaws that I was talking about, she's already moving those around. Sorry. Sorry about that. There we go. That's what I was talking about. She's already chewing on the cricket. Didn't give it a chance to fully die yet. Which is what happens with most of a cricket. I mean, a, uh, I keep saying cricket or roach in place of scorpion. Most of a scorpion's prey will be eaten alive. Whereas tarantulas will bite something and let it die and liquefy. Scorpions chew their food up, so they... Another sting just to be good and sure it's dead. So they use those jaws, like I said, and um, they chew their food up. Rather than wad it up and slurp it up like um, tarantulas do. So there we go. There was another successful scorpion feeding. Let me go see if I can find something else to feed. So this next scorpion is another one that I have not showed in a while. Also looking quite plump. That was my Laoris jordanensis or my Black Death Stalker scorpion. Uh, I have not seen this guy, actually witnessed this guy feed in quite a while. Um, it's always running and hiding. This one, this one is quite uh, shy and skittish. So I don't hardly ever get to see it when I do. It doesn't feed or anything. It just wants to run away. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just put a cricket in there anyhow. Well, it's probably not going to eat it. I'll just leave it in there. But you never know. It might surprise us. I didn't expect my um, Cuban bark scorpion to, to feed for me, but she did. So let's see what will happen. Let me fix this light. There we go. Again, this is a lot of what I get out of my scorpions uh, when it comes to feeding time. And of course the cricket. See, that's what I get all the time. But that has been my Laoris jordanensis, my Black Death Stalker. Maybe it will molt soon, I don't know. Let me go find something else to feed to finish out this video. So I thought I was going to do another feeding and show you some beauty, but I got a little bit of a surprise. Uh, another of my tarantulas has molted. And it looks like it's pretty recent because it's still shiny. But this is my very, very gorgeous Dolicotheli diamantinensis, the Brazilian Blue Dwarf Beauty. I was going to try to feed it a wax worm. But I got a pleasant surprise and found out instead that it molted. There's another very gorgeous tarantula that I'm really proud to have in my collection. Um, it's been pretty chill so far. I mean, it was a bit skittish when it was younger, but it's just kind of 
gotten tolerant of my presence and again like I said this is a gorgeous tarantula I wish I could get it to move just a little more kind of show you some of those colors on the carapace and it just wants to hide its face and doesn't want anybody to see it okay guys so that is the end of the third part of these feedings and updates that I'm going to be doing um, I'm probably not going to be doing any more tonight to keep you in suspicion overnight but I've still got a lot more critters that I need to feed I'm going to try to get it all on video for you guys starting tomorrow so I hope you enjoyed the first few um, videos that I put out I'm sorry they were so boring again like I said be patient they'll get better because I've got some tarantulas I know we're going to give us some great takedowns but I hope you enjoyed what we've gotten so far if you did please let me know thumbs up comment share subscribe take care of yourselves and each other have a great night God bless.